When turned on, your GW Instec arbitrary function generator will greet you with the model number and settings last used before power down. This is the display and all of the functions and buttons that you will be using. Let's start with a square wave. You can see that the frequency section is currently selected and blinking. We can set that to 100 Hz by typing in the value and pressing the Hz button. Let's set the amplitude to 3.3 VPP or volts peak to peak. Let's output that to see what we're getting. Let's decrease the amplitude to 2 volts instead. You can also adjust the duty cycle by selecting duty and using the scroll wheel to change the value. As you can see, the duty cycle is changing as well as the peak voltage. One important detail to know is whether or not your function generator is in high Z mode. As you can see, switching this mode changes what is read for the voltage output. This may or may not match what you're reading on an oscilloscope. Make sure that if you switch this by pressing shift output, high is read on the display. This mode will accurately output what you expect.